hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching fruitex so we have flashed lots of android 11 and 12 custom gsa builds before on the galaxy tab a because no custom rom development available for the galaxy tab a but lots of the custom gsa builds are not compatible for this tablet so i was continuously trying and testing the different roms that's why i didn't release any video even after 12 days of galaxy tab community post Sorry for that, but today I will give you the best Android 11 based custom GSA CAOS called as Custom AOSP Project. So here I will do only the full review as I already made the lots of GSA flashing steps video for the Galaxy Tab A. You can check out that in the video description and in the iCards. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. So you just need to download and extract the file given in a video description and then flash the extracted image via TWRP and then format your data. So finally you boot it to the COS boot animation which is not so fancy but still it's good. Once we upgrade it we will go to the about device. As this is the android 11 build we get the android 11 easter egg. Big COS logo on the top looks cool. This is the COS build number 315 plus. Security patch is off latest upgraded to 5th Feb 2022. But the vendor Samsung still not given any security upgrade. It's of October 2021. Kernel version is 4.4.177. This is the latest build of 28th Feb 2022. So let's see what's available in the ROM. ROM comes with the tray bucket launcher with the all essential goodies. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspots are working perfectly but still sometime if it's not working just reboot the device and it should work fine. Mobile networks are also working good but remember no OAT support for any GSI build because of the Samsung side issues. So we need to keep the mobile network on the compatible GSM, WCDMA or LTE. So whenever you get the call, network switches itself to the working calling network. Incoming and outgoing calls are working for other networks except LTE. Bluetooth is also working fine as we need to enable the ATDP offload lots of the time in a GSI builds. Now that thing is not necessary here. My Oppo Ecno M31 earphones connected and working good with the LDAC sound. Auto rotation also working fine. Audio in the speaker is loud enough to enjoy the games, videos and the music. Here is a sample. GPS is working but first time location detection will take 1 to 2 minutes but it should work fine later. ROM comes with the AOSP camera application and it has nothing special feature but the selfie and the main camera are working and taking the average quality pics and the videos as per the camera specs. But still while recording it will not record the sound so my recommendation is to use the open camera application from the play store, install and open it and go to the settings there enable the record audio tab and then tap audio source and select the default audio source. And now audio should record it in the videos too. I used the SNAC app to check the safety net check of the ROM but it's failed for the CTS profile match. So to solve this we need to go to the PHS table setting there go to the miscellaneous setting and then check mark the safety net pass. Now go to the SNAC and check it again. It should pass the safety net now. Surprisingly ROM is passing the worldwide security level for the Netflix Cities L1. So you can watch the Netflix videos at full HD resolution on this ROM. Even on my OnePlus 6 I can't able to pass this for the custom ROMs. So let's check all the sensors are working in the ROM or not. I found that the accelerometer and the compass is only working. Other things like the light, proximity, magnetometer, gyroscope and the barometer are not working. But truly I want to say that nothing is needed. Most of the apps and the games will work without the issues. Even though some sensor will not work. So let's see the performance of the ROM. ROM feels super smooth and lag free everywhere as compared to the stock one year ROM. Still I tested the Geekbench finally for this GSI build. And for the single core I got the 228 and for multi core I got the 555. Our device can't even range in the race of the scores but still you will not feel you are using the 5 year old AJ device in 2022 on this ROM. Now we'll see the what feature we'll get in this AOSP ROM. Most of the features are available inside the display setting. Here we get the dark mode with the scheduling option. Instead of this we get the style and wallpaper app. 
Here we guess the lots of the wallpaper. In the second style tab, we guess the font setting, icon setting. Here we get the bunch of the custom icons and the font settings. Next we get the bunch of the ascent color to choose and finally we guess the icon shapes. After all setting up, we can save them with the any desired profile names. ROM comes with the different dark themes like the grey dim, charcoal black, midnight blue and the amulet black. This is similar to the monet theming color setting available on the Android 12 custom ROMs. And this will give the amazing look to the device. We also get the display rounded corners and it's also giving the amazing look to the device. Separate tab for the quick setting panel opacity is available to change the transparency of the quick setting panel. Another interesting setting called as the user interface speed up is available which has the bunch of the profile to choose for improving the user interface speed but actually we can't notice the difference between the different profiles. Instead of this as this is the PHS GSI build who gets the PHS table setting which has some customizations like first one is the Samsung features. In this we get the Samsung Glow Touch Sensitivity Enabler setting. Double tap to wake available and it's actually working. In the miscellaneous setting we get the force FPS setting so we can force the 60 hz constant for this tablet as it only supports the 60 hz Linear screen brightness option helps to increase the brightness so the screen can be visible in a direct sunlight. Last IMS setting is to enable the OLT calling and works only for the MediaTek and the Qualcomm devices, not for the Samsung. In the system setting, we get the gesture setting where we can disable the gesture pill so full screen can be utilized while using the tablet. Quick access to the camera by double pressing the power button. This setting is available and works perfectly. Power menu has the advanced menu already enabled so we can boot to the recovery bootloader from the power menu itself. Three finger gestures to access the screenshot is added in the ROM. Some essential apps are not available in the ROM like the photo and the wallpaper setting. So download them immediately after the first boot. So this is all about the, this new GSI ROM for the Galaxy Tab A. Battery life is not tested, will report soon. ROM is fully working and stable enough to use so definitely flash it. But take the backup and save it to the PC for the further use if something goes wrong. So if you like my work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.